Why has measuring a vehicle never been more important than it is today? We're going to find out next. <laughs> Vehicle materials have greatly improved over the years. With the introduction of advanced steels and other stronger alloys or composites, the way collision energy is transferred and absorbed in the vehicle structure has changed. You may see tolerances out of spec much further away from the damage than what might be expected with older vehicles. This is why it's more important than ever to have a vehicle structure as close as possible to how it was when it left the factory. These days, every vehicle in for repairs should be measured. Start with a tape measure or tram bar to do comparative measurements and see if there is a need to further measure with a computerized or electronic 3D measuring system. Now even a small front bumper job could have deflection in the reinforcement or radiator core support. While a very small amount of movement may not seem like a big deal, if an 8S sensor was mounted to either of those parts, they could now be giving inaccurate data to different modules in the vehicle. Today's tools and devices also help with documentation of the damage, as well as being more accurate than the technician's eye. Additionally, having documentation from before repairs begin and after the vehicle dimensions are restored is so important to keep on file and for future reference if needed. ANAS systems are getting faster, more accurate, and better, with tolerances being more precise than ever. These same systems are also taking over more and more control of the vehicle. The difference between a functioning and unresponsive system could be the difference of a couple of millimeters at a sensor mounting location. Forward-facing radar sensors or cameras that send vital information to a collision mitigation system could be far less effective, especially as speeds increase. More often than not, these sensors and cameras mount to brackets, which then mount to parts of the vehicle structure. You need that structure to be as close to what it was when it left the factory when the ADAS systems were initially calibrated for the best results. Ideally, you want the proper training and equipment needed to properly repair modern vehicles. You should also have a procedure to include measuring in a proper blueprinting or triage scenario to document all damage before repairs begin to reduce supplements and improve cycle times. Do you really want a car to be near completion only to discover a four-wheel alignment could not be completed because the vehicle structure was bent or out of tolerance and the car had to then go on a frame rack or similar bench to be repaired before alignment? Initial setup and base point identification when measuring is a critical part of obtaining accurate measuring results. This is something that needs to be stressed and the technician needs to be in tune with the system and vehicle to ensure no errors are introduced at this stage of measuring. If you only use the equipment periodically, you may not maintain proficiency with it, and this can introduce problems. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.